Are you aware staph and MRSA infections have become major problems in sports and athletics today? Sound scary? It is. Locker rooms, schools, health clubs, and fields of play have become major havens for this bacteria, which is transmitted through physical contact. Sharing of personal items such as towels, practice jerseys, and even sports and exercise equipment. Potentially very serious health and financial implications can occur, such as skin and soft tissue infections, hospitalization, amputation, and even death. Now let's talk about the factors associated with outbreaks and transmission. We'll define them as the six C's. First, there are communal conditions, environments that people are sharing, like workout facilities and in locker rooms, even schools. The second is through contact, physical contact, like on a field or during a game. The third factor is contaminated surfaces and shared items, such as towels, jerseys, and other sports and fitness equipment. The fourth factor is through compromised skin, such as a cut from shaving or a turf burn from the field. The fifth factor includes colonization of staph or MRSA. 35% of all humans are colonized with staph. We predominantly carry it in our nasal cavity, with 1 to 2% colonized with MRSA. The sixth and final factor is cleanliness. Washing your hands and maintaining good hygiene is important for infectious disease prevention. Antimicrobial resistance of staph and MRSA first began in hospitals in the mid-30s. With outbreaks significantly growing, we saw staff move out of the hospital and into the community about 20 to 25 years later. From the 1950s and on, we've seen staph aureus become more prevalent within the community. By the mid-70s, methicillin-resistant Staphylococcus aureus, or MRSA, became prevalent in hospitals. With significant resistance and growth occurring, by the mid-90s, MRSA had moved from hospitals and into the community, with outbreaks increasing significantly. So let's review the important factors in protecting your child, team, or athlete from contracting staph or MRSA. Number one is to provide solutions that proactively address the six C's associated with outbreaks and transmission. Number two, support and help drive educational programs that increase awareness and provide empowerment according to the CDC guidelines. Number three, reinforce sports hygiene practices such as not sharing towels, taking showers, covering skin lesions, and most importantly, when in doubt, consult a physician. And number four, utilize antimicrobial technology and innovation from Clean Freak Sports Hygiene, the leader in prevention and protection from staph, MRSA, and germs.